This is Cinema 4D Magic, and today we're going to be making a magic slow motion uh, emitter intro. So first you want to go ahead and click on floor. You want to right click on the floor, go down to simulation tags and put it on a rigid body. Then you want to go up to MoGraph and go down to MoTeX. You want to change the MoTeX to whatever you want. I'm going to put in magic. You want to change the depth to about 50. Then you want to change the position to middle. You want to change the font to whatever you want to use. I'm just going to use this one. Okay. You can go ahead and create a new material. Double click on it. Go into color. Change the color to whatever you want. I'm going to use a light blue color. And you want to untick specular. Go into reflection. And then go down and click on Fresnel. And then you want to close that. And you want to drag it on to the text like that and once you've done that you can select the MoText and go up to plugins click Throwsy click on the Throwsy plugin change it to 15 pieces per letter and then you want to click break now and you want to wait for it to break okay now once you've done that you want to Go ahead and group these as an object. You want to open it up and you want to click on these rigid body tags. You want to click on this one and you want to hold shift and you want to click on the bottom one. And you want to go down and change this from immediately to on collision. So when the spheres hit the text, they it'll break the text. Okay, so then you can click that again and then you can go up to simulate, go down to particles and click on emitter. Now if you bring up the emitter and then you click on rotate and you click and then hold shift, it'll go up in fives. So we want to turn it until it's on 90 degrees. Okay, and then if we press play, it will spit out these white uh, specks. Now at the moment, it just does this, but we're going to change that. So if you press pause, and you go up to the shapes and you get sphere and then you get the move tool and you drag it up and then you get the scale tool and you hold shift and you click and you scale it down to the size you think looks good okay and then you want to drag the sphere underneath the emitter click onto a emitter and you want to put the speed on about 600 and then you want to click show objects then you want to click on rotate and you want to rotate it down a bit and then maybe even pull it across pull it down and then we need to put a rigid body on the sphere so you need to right click go down to simulation tags and click rigid body now if you click if you go back to the start and click play it should hit the text and break it like that Okay, so it looks good. Now, we can bring this up a bit, I think. A bit higher than the text itself, maybe. Maybe even a bit higher. So you need to move across. Make sure you're selecting the emitter. And pull it up a bit, so it's maybe, yeah. Okay, and then we can move back down. Position it where we want. And we can just watch. Now as you can see it's not really hitting the C. So maybe we need to bring it down a bit. Or even pull it back. So it hits all the text. Okay, and then position it back how you want. Now what we can do now is we can go ahead and create a material for the spheres. Now if we pause want to double click okay we want to go into color and you want to change it to whatever you want now I'm just gonna choose a dark blue color because I'm gonna make it look really cool with a light so and we're gonna go like that and then we're gonna click on reflection and we're gonna go down to Fresnel again okay then we're gonna put a glow on it maybe and you want to put this in a strength to about 50 
and maybe the outer strength tweet in maybe 25 and we'll see what that looks like and then you want to drag it onto the spheres now if we click preview render then we'll get to see what it looks like so it looks looks fairly cool at the moment so now we want to maybe put something on the floor or actually we don't really need to we can make the light colored so if we get a light we can drag it up a bit we can change the color of the light to whatever we want we can put it a yellow maybe like a dim yellow click OK and if we maybe not make the intensity so strong maybe put it on about 85 and see what that looks like see uh, it doesn't look bright enough to me so maybe we just turn it up back up to 100 again and just see what that looks like yeah we need another light just a normal light just drag it and then we'll preview it again see maybe the choice of light color wasn't a good idea so maybe we'll change this to a blue maybe like a pale blue and then we'll drag it up okay and we'll see what that looks like very blue so okay so now you can go ahead and go up to plugins and go to magic slow motion and then you want to play it and you want to see where the balls hit the text or spheres so they hit around let's just say 27 so you want to hold command actually first you want to change this to 27 and you want to hold command and you want to click start and you probably only want it to go for about or 10 frames so we'll put it on 37 and then we'll put this on 37 and we'll hold command and we'll click stop now the slow motion should last for these few frames there you go thanks for watching don't forget to comment rate and subscribe